It, it spins around. It creates this centripetal force. Can you elaborate yeah. on that a bit more? Yeah. What does that do? Yeah. So, so uh, the word driving actually is something we kind of, I, kind of adopted not too long ago because people would often ask, does it go by itself? And you just hold on to it and it self propels itself. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, as you know, you actually mm -hmm. have to drive it. Yeah. You have oh, to yeah. generate the force. And so there's a resistance inside that chamber, that outer pliable shell deforms and actually decelerates the mass. So. Uh, it creates a rotational resistance. So unlike uh, free weights and bands that act in one plane of motion, which is fine. I'm a big fan of string training. I do a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this actually acts in a full 360 degrees of resistance, and it constantly changes, which is why two things. One, it's actually challenging to coordinate. Mm -hmm. Your nervous system has to really do a lot to keep it on the road. Yeah. Um, but also, it uh, it fluctuates. So you're getting muscles to fire in different patterns. Um, and as you mentioned, like for your rotator cuff, it's, it's a no-brainer because... Well, your shoulder is a super shallow joint. You need your rotator cuff to fire harmoniously to keep that ball centered in the joint. Mm -hmm. um, and so without a doubt, it's, it's a no-brainer for overhead athletes and things like that.